At Nichols, there is a three-year required sequence beginning in ninth grade with conceptual physics, continuing into chemistry in 10th grade, and biology in 11th grade. The way it's taught is mostly through discussion-based and problem-based learning. Uh, there are a number of research projects that the students engage in. So in addition to teaching the fundamentals, so atomic structure and chemical reactions, we also give them the chance to almost design their own curricula. There's a lot of hands-on work beginning in ninth grade where students each do their own labs within a class or maybe eight or nine different labs going on at any given time. And at Nichols, we teach you how to read, we teach you how to interpret, and especially we teach you how to do those hands-on things. There's always that portion where they're articulating what they've learned to their peers, and that can take many different forms, be it a paper, a presentation, a poem, or a poster symposium. You know, they kind of get a wide range of experience there. Students are encouraged to write uh, across the curriculum from grades 9 through 12, writing in notebooks, uh, presenting information on whiteboards, and presenting papers to their classmates. You could have 10 different ideas or topics going on at one time, but the students are still looking at the science that's underlying all of those. I feel very, very comfortable with Mr. Hiller. It feels like he's learning with us during the class. Really, we have the opportunity to cater to each individual student. We can really ask the students where their interests lie and what they would like to explore so we can really engage them and make science accessible to them. Like whenever I have a question, I feel I can go to him and he'll give me the best help I can get. It's not as much as a lecture as it is like a discussion between all of the students. We try to apply the basic experiences to everyday life and something as simple as waking up in the morning is something that involves science and students need to really understand this to get a good grasp of science in general.